Good morning. And we're out for an early walk this morning. I'm a bit short of time today, so I thought I'd just wander down at sunset to the lake um, and see what we can see. It's been a lot of rain recently, so it's probably extremely high. So I'm um, sorry you can't see me very well, but um, it's probably three quarters of an hour before sunset. Uh, sunset, sunrise. So uh, yeah, just wandering down to Don't Water. Have a mooch around there. See what we can see. Can probably stay most of the morning, but I have to be back um, to go and see a client by one o'clock about some possible work. So yeah, we're going to wander down and see what we can see. So just like to remind people if you're enjoying this particular video please click the thumbs up if you like what I'm doing why not subscribe um, both of which do great for the channel so yeah and please comment I do reply to all comments so yeah anyway we'll see you down by the lake hopefully be a bit brighter by and so we can get a bit better video so yeah, we'll see you a bit later. Right, well, we've come to Isthmus Bay. Um, but I don't know whether we're going to get any... I uh, managed to capture any images here. As you can see, the water is extremely high. Um, there is a concrete jetty out there somewhere. And some big rocks, and you can't see any of them today. Um, unless I've got the wrong place, but I don't think I have. What I'll do is I'll put a picture up of, um, of a shot of um, an image I've taken here before uh, showing what you can see. Um, I don't really know where there's an image to be had. I mean, to get here I had to come the long way to come the short way. And even by the time I got to the gate I was almost stuck to the top of the well, so there was no way that it was going to come along the path. Um, now I think I'm going to go back to Crow Park where I walk through and see if there's any images there. It's just we're getting towards sunrise, but it is quite cloudy at the moment. So yeah, it's a shame. This is uh, one of my um, go-to places, uh, Isthmus Bay, and as I say, you've seen the shot I've put up of uh, previous compositions. So. Right, I'm just walking out into the water a bit here, it suddenly gets quite deep. Um, yeah, I don't, don't feel there's um, any, a composition here. I'm just going to go back to Crow Park and see what we can see there. So we'll see you shortly. Right, we've now come to um, Crow Park. And as you can see, the uh, water level is very high. If you look there's a little tree down there and you can see two posts uh, there is a gate there which normally is partly covered in water but not completely submerged which makes quite a good foreground interest but um, yeah it's uh, I don't think sunrise is going to happen we're already past the time so and it's a bit bit flat but that's that's the composition and if we look at the back of the camera um, as normal we're a f11 100 ISO and two seconds so uh, we've already taken the shot so uh, we'll maybe just hang around see if the light changes maybe take some more um, at least they got rid of all the sandbags that were there which were not particularly um, photogenic but yeah, there's some nice skies, but uh, we'll maybe hang around here a bit. Then we're going to make our way to the landing stage, see if we can get anything there with the high water, and then maybe go to um, Fry's Crag um, before we head home. So, yeah, anyway, we'll see you a bit later, and if this shot's any good, we'll put it up on the video.
All right, we've come down to the landing stages. Uh, as you can see, they're well underwater. Um, the jetty there is just, uh, or the steps go out the water. But by the time you get to the uh, actual launches, uh, it's back underwater. So just gonna have a wander around, um, see what um, compositions I can find, if any. Um, yeah, we'll see what we can do before we go off to Friars Crag. So, yeah, we'll see you a bit later. Um, and if there's any good shots, uh, good images, we'll put them up on the video. Right, well, we've come to Fry's Crag. Uh, the light's still not brilliant, it's um, still quite overcast, but uh, this is one of those iconic um, spots on Don't Water. I mean, obviously, there we can see across to Cat Bells. Uh, if we come down here, we do have this bench. Um, which does make an iconic shot, if you can see the bench, there we go. Um, looking down, and there is some quite bright clouds out there. And as Brendan would say, there's some blue clouds. So it's, uh, yeah, we can see right down to Borrowdale there and uh, Castle Crag, which I'll be going to on Sunday for the Rem Act of Remembrance uh, down there. Um, and then there's the various islands. Uh, if we come round here, can look up to to Walla Crag, and behind the island there is Catgill, where we um, yeah we did a video. It's probably about three videos ago. So um, yeah, it's uh, it's a nice day. So we're going to have a mooch around, see if there's possibly take a shot down I don't know whether we'll get a good one or not but uh, yeah we'll see and if it's a good shot we'll put it up on the video right we've settled for the the standard iconic um, composition there um, camera just catching the, the top of the bench not the whole bench but the top of the bench uh, and then looking down the lake um, and if we take a look at the the back of the camera I mean I've already taken the shot but um, yeah if we look at the back of the camera there we've got f11 100 ISO and a thirteenth of a second now that thirteenth of a second is the the standard shot because uh, uh, the such dynamic range that I have bracketed it so that was the center shot and I've done um, images uh, two stops above and two stops below and then we'll blend them on the computer uh, and we'll put the um, the image up on the video so yeah this is um, for those who've never been to the lakes and never been to Keswick this is one of the iconic um, places um, and just looking out there um, there is a bit of colour on cat bells now so whether we can um, work out where to, to get um, a decent image of cat bells with some light on it I'm not quite sure so anyway we'll have a, a think and we'll see you a bit later
Right, so I thought I'd come up Castle Head, um, where we are now, get a view of the lake and hopefully um, might catch the light. There is quite a bit of light over there, um, and then on Skidder as well as we come round to see Skidder. Um, there was when I came up, um, if we look down the lake, to Castle Head, uh, not Castle Head, that's where I am, Castle Crag, down at the bottom there, there was, that was lit up, um, but by the time I'd thought about getting my camera out, it, it had gone, so uh, let me get the camera out, see if I can get a couple of reasonable shots as the, as the light to and fro, so yeah, and if they're any good, we'll put them up on the video, so we'll see you a bit later. Right, well hopefully uh, there was a couple of decent pictures uh, from the top of Castle Hag Head um, that will have gone up on the video. So I'm now on my way home. Um, I'm not quite sure whether this is a long or short video. I wouldn't have thought it would be particularly long. Um, if you've enjoyed it, please click the thumbs up. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe and please comment whether it be on on this video or on the things i'm doing or, or things you'd like me to do or places you'd like me to go um but yeah i mean the, the plan for the next few weeks is um on sunday i'll be going up castle crag for the remembrance uh act of remembrance up there um so uh, i may go get up early and get there beforehand and see what i can see or maybe hang around and have a, a walk i don't know but um there should be a video then because i think the the forecast is quite good and then that'll obviously come out uh um a week after this uh, this will be coming out this sunday um and then we'll go up uh castle crag and that will come out the following sunday um what i might do is a midweek bonus so we've got the the weekly sunday ones being landscape photography is put up the remainder of my time in copenhagen uh and some of the images i got there and some of them i think are quite quite good uh, i've done the first day uh there's the evening of the first day and some from the second day to to show and the wanderings round so yeah as i say i'll maybe put that as a bonus and then i am uh, going to sky uh with some friends uh, we're going up for a week so what i will try and do sometimes find it hard but i will try and do a, a, a decent um vlog of some of the days there of of what we've seen and some of the shots to give you an idea what what the possibilities on sky are I mean, obviously, it's all weather dependent. When we were there last year, um, the weather wasn't very good. But, um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. But, uh, anyway, if you've watched this, uh, thank you very, very much. And we'll see you on the next video.